Hey Cloud Gamers, today we're having a look at GeForce Now versus Google Stadia on iOS. This is because GeForce Now is now available on Safari officially with Bluetooth controller support. So on the top we've got the GeForce Now version and on the bottom Google Stadia. GeForce Now is running a slightly different time of day but you can see the ray tracing effects and everything going on here. With a bit of tweaking you can probably get full ray tracing going on here as well. But looking at the Stadia version it is very smooth here. So GeForce Now is running in the Safari browser and Google Stadia here is running the desktop only browser. There are a few other methods for Google Stadia which we'll come on to shortly. But looking around here I am quite impressed with how smooth Google Stadia is. And for GeForce Now we're both running on Wi-Fi. However, with the Bluetooth controller, I was using the PlayStation 4 V2 controller, I did get a little bit of input lag, and that's where you can see a bit of twitchiness in the car movements here. Whereas Google Stadia, this car was just so fast that you just spin out everywhere anyway. But it's looking very good on both platforms, and I think for playing on mobile, it's going to be a preference of where you're going to be playing. As we move over to Destiny 2 then, I've got the same time of day this time, but straight away Google Stadia is looking a little bit clearer. Again, using the default settings, so with a bit of tweaking and not knowing what rig I'm on here, you could probably get it looking a bit better on GeForce now. But straight off the bat, Google Stadia is looking a little bit clearer. As we come through the tree section here and onto the water, you can see those reflection effects are actually greater on GeForce now. And maybe it is just the stream or the rig I'm on because it has cleared up a bit now on GeForce Now. As we go to just some Google Stadia gameplay, as I said, we're using the desktop only browser here. There are other ways to play as well. The desktop only browser only allows you to pair the Stadia controller. You can use the Stadium browser, which is back on the App Store, but to use Bluetooth controllers, you need to kind of sideload a script into it. There's instructions on their Discord. Or if you want to go the full sideloading route, you can sideload the Cloudy app and refresh it once a week to get full Stadia and Bluetooth controller support. So playing on iOS is officially coming to Stadia in coming weeks for beta. So hopefully we'll see it in early 2021 officially. But for now, these apps do allow you to play and it does work remarkably well. As we move over to just GeForce now, Straight away you can see those water reflection effects are a little bit crisper. And now the stream is a little bit steadier. The graphics are looking extremely good. And depending on where you're going to play, being able to just play on your Safari browser with a Bluetooth controller is much more convenient than having to fiddle with the other apps. The only other way to play GeForce now at the moment is with the Cloudy app, which you do have to sideload. So Having this in Safari is definitely the most convenient way to play, and it does play a lot better here. Destiny 2 had less input lag for me, I don't know if it was just the rig I was using on Watchdog Legion, but definitely a lot better experience here. As we go back side by side, again Stadia does look a little bit crisper here with the colours as well, but the reflection effects on GeForce Now are a little bit better. I am just using the default settings here on GeForce now, so you can go in and tweak the settings to your preference, and I'm sure you could get a lot better quality with a little bit of time. It is a shame that in the browser you can't seem to see what rig you're using, as that's always a good tell of what settings you can use on GeForce now. Overall then, they're both performing very well in the browsers, and it's exciting to see these systems coming to iOS, branching out with their mobile support officially, let me know in the comments below if you're going to be playing and what you're going to be playing on. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of the latest across all cloud gaming platforms. And I will see you next time.